People, 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 welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast of the Arsenio Buck Show. Man, it is good to be back, it is good to be had, it is good to be alive, and I'm bringing you guys another ramble of positivity. Oh my goodness, that, oh boy, oh boy. See guys, it's not only I who needs to do this, but it is a you that needs to do this. Because when you can actually just count all the blessings in your life, you realize that those blessings outweigh everything else that's quote unquote negative in your life. You know what I'm saying? Just recently, you guys heard of my Wheel of Life podcast. Am I right? I sound, I well, I sounded very negative. Sounded, is that past tense? I don't give a damn. I sounded very negative in that podcast because, of course, things went down and stuff like that. But honestly, I got to tell you that someone walked into my life. And that someone means everything to me right now. And so, you know the relationship category? I always give it 0x0x. It went up to about, what, 7 or something like that in April. uh, Only for that to completely fall apart. Um, It's at the highest ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's at an 8. Yeah. There is a significant other in my life. Oh, my God. I got to be the first to give you guys the news. (gasps) Woo! Anyways, man. Um... Let's not get too fancy. Let's not get too excited. Honestly, I'm, I'm excited beyond belief. You guys don't even know. I mean, you guys don't even know half of it. You know what I mean? But, oh, man. What? I, I mean, boy. Like, out of all the things I've gone through with relationships in my life, here comes this girl who just changes my life forever. <laughs> Oh, man, I, you know what? God, I'm just standing back and I'm saying, you know what? I'm just so wholeheartedly grateful for her. Uh, I don't know. Again, I'm still trying to literally digest everything. But boy, oh, boy, it is the ramble of positivity. It is me being truly grateful for all the people. Not only that, but the significant other that is now in my life right now. I thought I wouldn't. Man, I, honestly, I didn't think in a million years I would be saying that. Man, I mean, oh my god, I I don't even know how to, boy, okay, all right, here we go, let's just run, let's run through this, guys, god, I am so grateful for my job right now, that's right, I got, oh my god, I got colleagues that do some of the silliest things to try to gain my attention, it's kind of like they're little kids, thank you, thank you to you, yes, thank you to everyone who seemingly doubts me all the time, and the people who do believe in me, I'm so grateful for all of you, thank you, at my job, I'm grateful for having a visa and a work permit for working here in Thailand, you know what I'm really, really grateful for, oh my god, I'm I'm actually super grateful for something that happened probably, oh, uh, well, actually, two months ago, because now it's November, shout out to November, um, I'm really grateful for actually taking the first step into achieving my physical goals, achieving my health goals, my body goals, everything that I've always wanted. Um, I'm glad that I went to the lab in Bangkok. It's like a little workout place. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive than other places, but being around that core group of people and working out like today, I mean, not today. Well, you guys are listening to this today because I'm actually going back there this morning. So that's why I have to hurry up and schedule it for you guys. But boy, this past Monday, My goodness, I've never had that type of energy before in my life. Now, how can I even explain this? And again, I'm so grateful for this. Guys, this is just a ramble. I'm going on a ramble, man. This is what you guys should do with your loved ones every night and say, oh my God, I'm so grateful for you just looking at me with those eyes and that that skin. Man, just sit down and just think of the things that you're grateful for, man. Oh, boy, I was, I was, I went in there. And of course, I had my my the two ladies that I always work out with. One works for like some pharmaceutical uh, company. Another one's awesome. We're sitting there, we're talking, we're laughing, we're doing all types of things before the workout. And honestly, that was a very, 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 very difficult first thirty minutes. And then we went into the second thirty minutes where this big guy came. Right? I didn't know he spoke English. Uh but next thing you know. Me, him, and this other girl, we're in a group, right? Because it's like group exercise. So seven minutes over here, seven minutes over here, seven minutes over here. The playlist that was bumping, it was like like 2000 and 2004 rap hip-hop. So you had the likes of, uh, you had some Dr. Dre, you had some Chingy, you had some, um, um, uh, what is it, Tupac, California Love. 
Um, oh my god, the place was popping, and I'm literally rapping while doing everything, because that's the only thing that's going to push me through everything. I'm pushing my group, he's like, come on, let's do this, let's bump it up, it, it was insane. Oh my god, what a damn, man, Woo! grateful as hell, grateful as hell, boy, oh boy, man, I'm so grateful that I took forth the biggest effort. And attaining that sexy body that I've always dreamed of. Because, man, I am a... Listen, I'm a sex symbol, people. I am a sex symbol. Yeah, that's what Kevin Hart said. But you know what? I'm a, I'm it, too. I'm a sex symbol, damn it. I look good. See, a lot of you out there right now are saying, Oh, well, I'm so fat. I'm so this. Get in the mirror and say, Look at my body. Envision your body being exactly what you want it to be. If you're 120 kilos or 200 pounds, say, Oh, my God, I am... A 170 pound beast. Look at me. Because you know what? When you start feeling that and you start telling your subconscious that, guess what you're initiating? I've talked about this in my podcast so many times. Health is on fire. Health is on fire, man. I'm glad that I'm back doing the thing that I normally do Monday and Thursday morning with a couple of individuals. Um, it's remarkable. I love being around just fantastic people and happy people and being in areas of Bangkok where I can actually, uh, just feel, feel that type of, um, that vibe, that vibe that's so overwhelming that's saying, Hey, you know what? Be, stick around us. We'll get you here. We'll get you there. You know what I mean? And the opportunities that I know that's coming. Oh, I missed out on a big one, but it's all good because if you miss out on one, another massive one's coming. Because things just didn't fall in schedule. And it was from a company from Singapore. So I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass about that. But you know what? It's all good. Because you know what? It's going to be another company. It's going to be even bigger. And it's going to fall in the perfect time slot for me to make things happen. (laughs) Singapore, baby! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm also grateful for actually taking the, uh, the time out to put my TEDx application online. Um, there are so many different TEDx's, uh, I've actually got the map right now, we got Cambodia next, uh, next year, March 18th, uh, Bangkok, that's for the youth, that's a youth project, that's some kind of prep school in Bangkok, these, these older historical teachers, uh, from Europe and, uh, especially Thai people aren't going to be ready for my story, there, there's no way that's gonna happen, um, there are so many other TED. I'm telling you man, India, I'm a boy, India is where it's at. I know that my heart is pointing towards India in terms of me doing my TEDx, guys. I'm go. I got the locations. I'm going to start applying for a lot of different TEDx's, and I want to start. And of course, a lot of people say start in a real big country and whatnot. Um, hell, if I could go to China, but the thing is, they don't have TEDx's in China. Well, maybe, 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 but they speak Chinese. You know what I mean? So, anyways, big projects, big things are happening, and I'm like, okay. This is very, very exciting. So, again, TEDx, grateful for that, grateful for my friends, grateful for now the fun in hobbies. Guys, because because things have changed in my life in terms of my relationship, of course, um, I've got to say that I am going to be going to Bali for New Year's. I know I said Chennai, India, and whatnot, and... And, of course, I told one of my friends that I would meet her in Chennai, but I think she is very, very busy. And, again, I'm, my, my guards are going up in terms of, okay, what could happen between this month and actually going to India? And if something happens between her and I, you know, I, I, I just don't want to take that risk. And now it's all good because I'm ultimately, ultimately going to go to Cambodia. Also, February 24th, I'm no longer going to do the Spartan in the Philippines. I decided that I will be going back to my wonderful Australia, baby. Oh, yes, indeed, baby. I'm going back to Melbourne. Uh, Meet my best friend, Joy. And the best part about this is, of course, Joy is my ultimate best. You know, she's one of my best friends. So uh, in terms of my relationship right now, she won't have to worry no matter what. You know what I mean? Because now I'm only taking trips. That are building me in terms of giving back to you guys, traveling, writing blogs, getting more experiences, stuff like that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to a place where there's a potential girl that could actually say, ooh, I really like you. No, 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 no. That's too late. It's too late, baby. I'm locked up. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm locked up. God damn, I feel so good right now. I'm putting my fist in the air. But anyway, so let's keep on going, man. I got February 24th, Spartan going down. It's pretty far. I got to send the location to my friend and whatnot. 
but boy, I am excited about that. Um, yes, of course, Spartan three months later, and, and that's the super somewhere out here in Bangkok. I'm trying to push everyone to do it at the uh, gym that I'm at right now. Uh, Got to exchange details and whatnot, but yeah, they're all going to do it. Unfortunately, one of the girls I was actually talking to this past Monday, she's like, oh my God, you know what? I booked the ticket, I was going to do Spartan, then I realized my sister's graduation at William Mary in Virginia in the USA is on the same damn day, so I can't do it. I said, oh, come on, what are the odds of a damn graduation falling down on May 19th? Because normally, universities in America, they graduate, of course, in, you know, the summer months. It could be July, June, July, August, and stuff like that, whatever. Oh, that stinks, but it's all good. A lot of other people will be doing it, and it's all about pushing yourself to the absolute limit. Um... So we got Australia, and you know what? I think my canceled trip to America had to happen because obviously I need to go to Australia. You see what I mean? All these things always, and I mean they always fall in place. A lot of people don't realize it. They say, oh, my God. Well, you know, my best friend's probably going to hate me now. She's not going to talk to me this, that, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. That means something else more important is coming into my life now of course a plane ticket to australia is relatively cheap during the february months and of course i booked that on the dawn of the new year which is not a problem but um america you know having that american trip happen buying the things i would need to buy and depending on what the salary you know everything that's happening in terms of my entrepreneurship and all that going down i do not know and i mean I, i cannot emphasize this enough i do not know if i would have been able to go to australia don't know don't know it's all good but uh whoo uh guys man i'm just i'm just full of energy uh you guys are listening to this right now i normally do these rambles i think this is number 15 and we're gonna keep on doing this but man it is november oh my god it's november two months left guys and then it's january 2018 God damn, man. I remember when I was listening to the Thong Song by Cisco just 18 years prior, back in the year 2000, when I was in sixth grade. I was saying that thong, the thong, like, you know what I mean, man? That was the 18, it's 18, it's 18 years after that. No, I'm not old, baby. I'm beautiful. I'm actually in the best shape of my life. Best shape of my life. And I'm so grateful for it. I'm grateful for the health. I'm grateful for the the fun and hobbies. I'm grateful for being able to do this podcast. I'm grateful for having just a sexy blue Yeti microphone right in front of me and a MacBook that's actually hooked up to it in the air and or lack thereof and the condominium that I'm living in. And now that I have a significant other, which I never thought I would have in a million years. And boy, now it's shine. It's kind of like, okay, well it's time to get back into this relationship mode because I've never, I haven't been in it in more than like seven years, like a real relationship. Um, so big things are happening. I'm excited. I'm very, I'm very enthused about a lot of things that are happening in my life and people who are coming in and out. Uh, big shout out to my folks in Mauritius. For those of you who are listening to my podcast in Mauritius, man, don't forget to share and like if you love me. You know what's so funny? I'm a little scared. Now, guys, hear me out there in Mauritius. This is really fun. This is a wonderful story. Anytime I think and see that name Mauritius, I'm like, oh my God. Is it my ex? Because I actually dated a Mauritian. The last serious relationship I had, like very serious, uh, six years ago. Back in, of course, Melbourne, Australia, 2011. And she's from Mauritius, and that was a very laughable relationship. Also extremely grateful for it. Uh, now she went on to, I think, marry another guy. Uh, also from the Middle East, she was from Mauritius, which is basically east of Madagascar, if you guys don't know. Uh, again, she and I, we were just different. That's all there was to it. I'm not saying anything about anything else. You know what I mean? There wasn't no bad. There wasn't no good. It was just, hey, I'm so happy that she actually found someone exactly like her. You know what I mean? So anytime I actually see Mauritius listening to me, I'm like, oh my God, is it her? But I know she's probably living in Australia. I don't know. I haven't spoke to her in years. But, uh, it's funny. Every time I see that, I kind of think of her and say, her, is that her? Is it her family? What are they trying to do? What the hell is going on? <laughs> you know, say, you know, sometimes our thoughts just go running all over the place. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. Guys, sit down. Write down 20 today. Write down 20 things that you are unbelievably grateful for. Unattached to money. Now, of course, I told you Australia. Now, the thing is, it's unattached to money. But, yes, you need to buy a plane ticket to go there. But it's unattached to money. I just put it out into the universe. I'm going to Bali then. I'm going to take a trip with my significant other this time. I'm going to, of course, 
go to Melbourne, Australia here. Then, of course, in April, Songkran. I do not know. I think things are, are going to change. Originally, I was supposed to go to Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, but now... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore because, yeah, but honestly, Mongolia, I don't know, damn, things are changing, things are changing, we'll see what happens over the next two months, but it's all good, and plus, that's going to be after my Australia trip, that's going to be crazy, anyways, we'll see, we'll see what's happening, but nonetheless, guys, I am so grateful this morning, it is Thursday, it is what, November 2nd, you guys are listening to this, and you guys are wondering what the hell's going on in the planet. But you know what? All I'm trying to do is give you guys as much energy and as many things you can use to your advantage. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't be shy to ask me questions. Don't. Because if you don't, you'll never know. Everything will remain a mystery. 20 things. Write them down. And I'm telling you, when you go out through your day, I want you to think about them and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because if you don't, I will come for that ass. <laughs> My mom said that to me. She's like, boy, if you play with me, boy, I'm going to come for that ass. So that, that means she's going to whip me. Uh, anyway, so those are good times, guys. All right, so with that being said, guys, stay tuned for the next podcast. The schedule is on Instagram, The Arsenio Buck Show. If you guys want to know what I'm doing every day, just making sure I stay on schedule and everything. So in saying that guys man have a wonderful morning afternoon and evening again thanks for tuning in to another ramble of positivity podcast and another pre-recorded episode of the arsenio buck show this is your host arsenio over and out